the substitution mad okay to cover this topic about the substitution mad first we have to understand something about what we know as the tanween so the definition of the tanween is the hidden noon sakin that is not pronounced when one stops but is pronounced if one continues so what do we mean by this if we have a look at the end of this sentence we have the dal with the um, two kasras underneath now normally people call the two kasras the two dhammas the two fathas the uh, tanween but really a tanween is the hidden nunsakin which is represented by an extra fatha an extra dhamma or an extra kasra so here where we have the two kasras the extra kasra the second one indicates there is a hidden nunsak in there now if we were to read this sentence and carry on then at the end we would actually pronounce the two kasras i.e. we would say din now if we were to stop we would not say the din we would just stop on sad yeah so we would say if we were reading this and we were going to stop on the center sentence we would say fi ji di ha habalum mim masad okay and we stop and there's a qalqala on that last dal but essentially the um the noon sakin is not pronounced the dal is actually um recited as um sakin now with the kasra tain and in this next sentence we've got the uh, dhamma tain now these two both operate exactly the same if you read on you pronounce the kasratain or the dhammatain but if you stop the last letter becomes sakin so in the first one we, if we stop we'll say uh, masad and in the second sentence we would say la shadid okay so both cases we do a derived sukun on the last letter now with the substitution mad we have a case where it is peculiar to the fat hatain okay so when one stops on the fat hatain when it's followed by an alif then the hidden noon sakin which is known as the tanween is actually sub substituted for the alif so let's take an example of this so here we have a sentence which ends with a um, fatatain and it's normally accompanied with an alif so we have the ha with a fatatain and an alif after it okay now normally if you were to continue reading that last sound would be han now when we read this though we stop sorry when we read this and we stop we will say ha too long yeah so if i read this is wal adiyati daba ha and that last ha is two counts now what actually happened there is this originally in the tanween we have the hidden noon which is the uh, tanween itself so it's effectively the two fat attains here could be rewritten as the ha fata and nun sakin so han now when we stop we implement what is known as the substitution mad so this is what we do instead we we effectively pronounce this as ha so that hidden nun sakin has been replaced by the alif that you actually see um, which accompanies the fata tain. So this is why it's called the substitution mad because the noon sakin is substituted by the alif if we choose to stop. Okay, and that's um, effectively the substitution mad. So here's another example. So we've got fal muriyati qadaha same thing again instead of han 
we say ha and it's always too long and that brings us to the end of the substitution mad